it's fab time fab tuesday the tuesday of the month every two weeks where we get free assets and today we have a character a game system and an environment so we're doing pretty well first off this character let's have a look it's the dark knight male and female it looks absolutely great on these pictures but let's have a look at it in game this was released july 16th 2025 wasn't generated with ai works in 4.24 to 5.7 says it comes with 104 animations so it'd be interesting to see what different animations they are apart from the standard walk run cycle if this comes with a lot of animations then that'll be great to pick up next we've got the dodge it component this is part of uh, combat fury's main arsenal this was created in march 17th 2023 and is compatible from 5 to 5.6 and wasn't generated with ai then we've got stylized spruce forest this is a environment asset looks absolutely great on the pictures so we'll take a look at it in game two this was made in october 1st 2022 and wasn't generated with ai and is compatible 4.27 and 5 to 5.7 so one of the bugbears that I have with these environment assets is I just kind of want to know in the technical details, like how big the total asset is. Um, give me the gigabytes. If this is like 20 gigabyte asset, I probably don't want to include it in my game. So that's just a personal bugbear for me. I, I want the gigabyte details because there's nowhere on here that they're listed. This is all the preview animations. This was the bit that I was sort of most interested in. We've got a walk cycle. There's a hit directional cycle, which is pretty good. So there's a hit alert and a just a normal hit. Is the alert one the one where they have the sword? So we've got crouch, forward, and then crouch, alert. So alert is when they've got the sword. I'm trying to see the difference between the alert ones and the not alert ones, and I can't really see too much of a difference other than the fact that they're holding a sword missions are split between male and female so so here it is with a character so super easy to add you just swap the skeleton and it's working as intended you don't need to retarget anything but you should retarget stuff just to avoid any weird errors but this looks uh, really quite good there's not a full eight-way cycle for run there's a full eight-way cycle for walk and crouch but there's not a full eight-way cycle for run why here we are in the stylized forest demo. We're going to use our same character here. Which probably means I don't get access to changing the season, but I'll change it back in a sec. So you can see here we are running. There are some interesting parts on the collision here. So obviously it has collision, which is good but they're quite boxy collisions that's just on these like big plant things so yeah the collision probably needs to be addressed in the top and as usual uh, water in these things is never set up to be 100% proper but that's more of a game thing but this looks good in terms of uh, what it is so there's not much to the actual overview asset in terms of what's there it's probably like yeah just not much at all honestly which is a little bit impressive but also a bit like disappointing there's 50 items there's 50 static meshes in here so you're not really getting loads of stuff but it's about what you can do with it obviously they've made a really nice uh level in the inside the global parameter then you change the uh winter to be one and it adds snow to these um 
I've never really seen a tree keep snow on it. Normally they're just normal. The, these logs look good, like at the bottom of them, it's still uh, a, a tree. But these just look white. It's like white logs. Not sure what to make of that. So yeah, you can change it in the global parameters. So put 0 0.5 here. 0 0.5 here, let's make it half autumn, half winter. We get a little bit of a different uh, feel. Not sure how I feel about this specific feature, honestly. I don't think this is that good. It's certainly not the best I've seen about it. Yeah, let me know what you think on this one. I can't make up my mind on this one. It seems like it's two-sided, which, yeah, that makes some sense when you look at things from the ground. Obviously, it's only got snow on top. But then a, a 0 0.5 for each, surely some of these branches should not be white and some should be. And the trunks being completely white are a bit off-putting to me. Although, like, it seems... I've got this camera turned up too much. It seems fine here, like these look good, half snow, half uh, not snow. But yeah, let me know what you think on uh, this one. I'd be interested in your thoughts. Okay, so dodge it component. It's pretty simple. You press F, you do a dodge. Press F again, do another dodge. If you hold F, you do a roll, but I have changed this roll animation myself. The original roll animation is basically the same dodge animation. So press and hold F. That's the dodge animation. Run forward and just press F. It's the same animation. So I've just shortened it myself by changing it to like 0 0.6 to get a roll. The roll looks awful, but you can see it much better working. Press and hold. There you go. Does a little roll. It's pretty bad, but at least you can see the difference between a hold and a press. Setting up animations is super easy. Like you just select the component and change the uh, animations for roll, dodge, etc. It's pretty well, it's well commented. There are a couple of bits I don't like about it. I don't like this movement input and the set input values. I also don't like that this is a project and it's basically a component and some uh, third person stuff. It could be a plugin. Easier to work with plugins than it is separate projects but maybe that's just a preference it is replicated so it is uh got basic replication and then supposedly if you press uh d and f it'll do well if you press a direction roll it will do a direction but i can't see that being set up by default so what we're going to do is we're going to do middle mouse do a flip -flop and then do uh, orient, sorry, and set controller. And I always get these wrong. We'll see if I get them on this time. So, you want to turn on this and turn it on here. Yeah, no, I got it wrong, but it's fixed this time. So, I press D and F now. There we do. We'll do a sideways dodge instead. I've got the inputs just there. So, it's super basic and it should be simple enough to move over. The like I said, the issue that I have with it is this uh, movement input because all of your movement inputs are now controlled in the dodge it component rather than in the third person. In terms of documentation, it's a nine page doc. It's pretty uh, simple. I mean, it's super basic in terms of it, but I don't know why it wouldn't need to be super basic honestly so this is the dodge it component it's got basic documentation which is fine and and it's got antiquated input settings but it works and it does the business so let me know what you think on this one i like the animations in it honestly i think it should have included directional stuff without me having to uh, set the orientation and stuff but that's a personal thing again so 
that's this week's assets if you like these kind of videos then drop me a comment drop me a like let me know what you want to see next and as usual thank you for watching and have a great day